Welcome back to Kirby's Adventure. Eh. Operation Pixel, Ark's playing. Two fighters enter, one will leave. <laughs> Just ran in with a bunch of fire. Yeah, against the ice guy. Yep. Oh. Little butt. Try to do it again. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I also get free tomato. Fuck the ice oh, power. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you could eat him. I was wondering why he was just sitting there flashing. Like some kind of doofus. It's, oh, it's, this is new. Yeah, well, it's... This is the same boss as in the, um... As the, uh, the 64 one. Man, spoilers again! No, it's not! I don't know any of this stuff about the 64 game. It's been so god dang long. It's, it's the same boss, but it's different, like, character. Uh-huh. Remember the artist? I remember the artist's character. Yeah. It's a sa this is the same boss battle. I didn't remember actually fighting them. That's how oh. long it's been, man. But you remember the character. Vaguely, ah, yeah. Ah, bombs! I remember not being able to tell if it was a boy or a girl. It was a chick. Was it? It was never very apparent. Maybe it'll be more apparent. Now that I'm growing up. I love his little dance. Mm hmm Butter building. <laughs> He just got tripped. Was, ah! was like, oh my ah! god! <laughs> oh! Silly little cutscenes. Just for the giggles. Did you really never play this? No, not this one. <laughs> I mean, I never, I never had an NES. <laughs> Nor did I have a huge collection of Whoa. NES titles. Oops. Oh, okay, I got a sword. No, but I mean, it was like on like so many like virtual console stuff. Nah, man. The only Kirby games I've played are uh, Dreamland and um, Kirby 64. So I don't remember Kirby 64 like at all. Whoa! Nice. So I'm pretty sure the sword doesn't work as well as <laughs> you'd like it to. <laughs> there we go. I did it! Yep. Oh, there's the ending. <laughs> Oh my god! Don't, don't, don't! I got, did get the mic. I did. I thought you were gonna get the, um, the other thing, the laser. Well, it, it depends on what you had before. Ah. Uh. Like, if you swallow both of them. Oh, I missed it! I was supposed to get that button. How are you gonna get that button? I'm not sure. <laughs> you need to find a power Whoa! that'll let you cheat through walls. That's what you need. I, no, I need to enter a certain area that spawned me right there, below where I'm at. That's where you started at, and then you walked no, through. No, there's one below that. Oh. Are you saying there's multiple layers here? Yes. It just looks like the same yes. place? see, there's three. Mm-hmm. And then I gotta, en I gotta like, enter right there, and I'll exit through that doorway. Damn it, I'm watching a second screen. <laughs> Screw you, DS. What? I'm watching a second screen. You're I'm not... trying to see two screens at once. Two separate areas on the screen. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. I was about to say, what are you talking about? Are you, like, drunk and falling asleep again? No, not at all. <laughs> How do you even drink that much? I know, I was, like... But it sounded so nonsensical. You're like, I'm looking at two screens at once, and I'm like... I, I actually thought you would... Oh, lame. I actually thought you would have gotten that. Like, I'm trying to look at two places at once. No, I get that. But... That's what I was meaning. Yeah. No, I get it now. See, like, even if I die, I start, like, right where I was. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be that easy. Oh, that reminds me of, um... Do you remember Lego Lord of the Rings? Yeah, that wasn't great. It wasn't great, but it was okay. Nah. For at least a little while. Oh, it's a maximum tomato! Yep. Oh! <laughs> Ruined it. Uh, but what I wanted to bring up, though, is... Because I remember we started up that one... Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, we started that one up together, and we were playing co-op, and, like, the first mission was the, uh, the battle against Sauron, and I think, like, uh, I was Elrond and you were, like, Isildur, and then we got up to Mount Doom after defeating Sauron or taking the ring from him, and Elrond was like, the ring must be destroyed, and then you accidentally slipped off the side into the volcano, <laughs> and then we got an achievement that said, it won't be that easy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I I kind of remember that, but I, I also kind of don't. That was we both laughed at that though because it was like, oh, we almost destroyed the ring by just <laughs> falling in falling into, into the volcano instead of triggering the cutscene. And I, I just thought that was kind of a funny thing that they just added in there for no particular reason. Nice. Oh shit. I lost well. it. Dern. Wonder if I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> well, if it's here, I'm gonna need it. Probably. That does make sense. You go away. I'll take that. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, it would be kind of funny. Like, imagine how much would be different in Lord of the Rings if Isildur had destroyed the ring. No. No? <laughs> Wasn't that what he says? Oh. Maybe. It's been a while since I saw the movies, too. I've been meaning to rewatch them. Um. I at least Fellowship, like... Oh, god dang it. Oh, I was even frozen when I was, like, fat. <laughs> I always liked Fellowship. That was probably my favorite of the trilogy, personally. I don't no! Know about... Wow. I mean, I don't know about most people. Oh, oh. shit! This guy's serious business. Um, I I like the uh, the second one best. Two towers. Yeah. What'd you like about two towers? Well, I just. I'm just curious. Fellow if, if... Fellowship was. I mean, it was the entrance to the series. Yeah. It was great the first time you watched it. Mm-hmm. But like after that, you're like, all right, I know all this. Well, sure, but that's the same with most movies. I know, but um, um, it just... It wasn't all action, and it... Damn it. It wasn't all action, but it was, like, still a little bit story building. Mm-hmm. Eh, damn it. But enough so that... Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean, sort of. Like, it wasn't all action. I mean, yeah, it did have... it. The, the Battle for Helm's Deep was pretty cool. And, uh, you know, they had, they had several stories going on at once that were all sort of interlinked, but kind of fun but, and character building. But, um, I gotta give it to you, Fellowship did have, uh, Boromir. Boromir was the best character. But, um, in particular, I think the reason why I liked, uh, Fellowship, though, um, was actually because there wasn't, like, the big war sequences. Oddly enough, because I like the big war sequences to some degree. But, like, you know, uh, Fellowship... They kind of gathered the team, and then they um, they had their plan, and they went on the adventure. And it was almost like, you know, like a camping trip with friends, except it was like the friends were like... In the battle for their lives? Well, not necessarily in the battle for their lives, but I what I meant was like, they were the um, some of the greatest heroes in the land. So it was like this... Uh... No, that's a rare one. I mean, maybe it's just because it's like the RPG games that I like to play. You know, you have your your team of people, and everybody's got their skills and talents, and they work together. And I mean, there was still, like, big battles and stuff, like the one where Boromir died. It wasn't like Son a, of a, bitch. a war sequence or anything. I lost my backdrop. Your backdrop? Yeah, my rare power. Ah. Oh, the beetle guy? Yeah. Hey. That's the high jump, dude. Makes you don't need him. You can fly. Yeah, why is there a game for or a skill for high jump when you can fly? Oh no, no, no! I can't get. Oh, it worked somehow. I almost went off a cliff. Yeah. Could we just run around with a sword? Um. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know about in particular, but I always liked uh. Boromir. I mean, Boromir's the best character. We've, we've already agreed on that. Both of us were like, yeah, Boromir's the best. Like, there's no arguing. Um, I mean, I suppose you could argue. I know some people like Gandalf. Gandalf's, like, overpowered. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I was thinking about it, like, afterwards. And how much does he actually use magic? Like, the only spell I really remember him using was, like, turning his staff into a flashlight. No, he did magic when he was fighting, um... Uh, Sauron. Oh, did he? Yeah, remember? Saruman, you mean? Saruman, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought their names were too similar. Yeah, they, I think that was on purpose. Maybe. Sauron and Saruman. Uh. 
Um, but yeah, remember he had that little magic battle with him in his tower? Yeah, I guess they did kind of push each other around a little bit, but like, I think it looked kind and, of silly. And he did use like a super bright flash in Battle of Helm's Deep to blind the enemies. Right. And he's like, and the enemy's like, oh shit, something's going down here. And they're like, wait a minute, let's break line. And they're like, Aah! and then like plow through everything. And then there was one time when he whispered to a moth. Yeah. But in general, I just feel like, as far as... No, he did use, uh, he used magic to, uh, to frighten, uh, Bilbo. Oh. Do not take me for some conjurer <laughs> of cheap tricks. <laughs> yeah. I am not trying to rob you. I'm trying, trying to, to help you. And he's like, oh god, you freaked the shit out of me. Yeah, that was Frodo. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was Bilbo. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, it was. He was convincing to leave the ring. You want it for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I should have taken the, uh... No! <laughs> Can you get that one up? <laughs> <laughs> Should have gotten that one. Ah! Up. I was trying to. <laughs> Let's go slowly this time. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, I don't even need that. I'm at full health. Nope, didn't need it. But there we good. go. You're good. You're all good. See, you're getting worse at it. I know. I thought I went further. Because if I if I let it go up and down, mm -hmm. it'll automatically launch me the first jump. Yeah. Now you gotta have you gotta have that timing. Another mini game. Quick draw. Ready and yeah. Wow. And one. Who's this guy like Sherlock Holmes? Three. Sherlock, uh, banana Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> look like a banana. A little bit. Ducky. Nice. I, got, I had a bazooka. Yeah, I was gonna say, he looks kind of like a bazooka. <laughs> I think, oh, monkey man. Nice. I'm getting faster. And you're collecting hats. Oh, there's DDD. <laughs> <laughs> So he tells me Kirby isn't playing by the rules when he pulls out a cannon. I got faster every one. Yeah. You got warmed up. Well, we're on the last level. Yep. Well, how about we do that next time on Operation Pixel? I'm actually going to go check this museum while in between episodes, so. Okay, cool. Meow. And we'll see which power you chose next time. Well, I chose high jump! <laughs> Only one choice. <laughs>